everyone, it's me, Warmaster. It's been a long time since I put on a microphone. And today we're having a mod review, the Great Mission mod by Roma Fox. So the last time there were only like seven to nine mission, but now it's like 30 mission. There's a lot of mission, mostly border accurate. So Roma Fox has been putting a lot of effort for about a month or two in doing this new mod. And uh, turns out it's pretty dope, not that bad. I will give you guys the link. Link will be in the description down below. Okay, so scenarios. So it's pretty easy. If you guys want unlimited metal, you can, can just buy Munstein. It's actually free and also Tito. So if you look into Tito, Yugoslav, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's Tito? I think it's on section number two. Where is him? Don't seem to find him, but uh, okay. Where's Tito? There's no Tito. Oh yeah, this one also unlimited metal. So you guys can get that. Uh, the also the function is free, and if you guys want uh the level upgrade, you guys can just finish uh, mission number one tutorials, and you guys done. And for World War Two Europe, you will have the Axis and the Allies. Right now, you are doing the uh, Axis, so you can see the invasion of Poland. You can see the Operation Rosenberg. You can also see Battle of the Lowlands. We've seen that already. Battle of Dunkirk. Also seen that. Uh, Battle of France, which is the fall of Vichy France. I also love the map that it changed into a uh, pre-Glory of Generals games. That's pretty good. And you got mission number six, which is Balkan Campaign. Mission number seven, Operation Merida on Krat. Uh, mission nine is Mercury on Krat. My apologies. Mission eight is Battle of Tobruk. And mission number 10 is Operation Barbarossa North. You got Barbarossa Center. You got Barbarossa South. You also got number 13, which is Battle of Kiev, which is the encirclement of Kiev. You also got the troop up north ready to encircle at Lubny and into Kiev. So that's how the encirclement works. And then you got mission number, I think it's uh, 14. Where is it? Yeah, which is the Battle of El Alamein. You got number 15. Uh, which is the Siege of the Westerfall, led by Eric von Manstein. Siege of the Westerfall, you can see this is actually good. Let's finally see the, the, the siege themselves, as all the, the Germans pushing. They're using the Wehrmacht logo instead of the German Reich, which is better. Number 16, which is Battle of Stalingrad. You can see the fall of that. We can also see the Gustav artillery, Schuf artillery, by the way, is actually good. After you take the Westerfall, you can just take at uh, Grasnada and move into Amavia and to Stalingrad at the end of the river. Like the effort, pretty accurate, very nice. Also, you got number 18, sorry, 17, where's 17? Let me check number 17, which is the Battle of Cairo after you take uh, El Alamein. So this is non-historical options where you take that one. And then you got number 19, Battle of Suez Canal, where you push into uh, Vichy Fran of Syria in Iraq after you take uh, this one. So that's technically how it works in non-historical and then you've got number 20 uh, which is the battle of moscow or operation typhoon which often known as the last straw of the soviet union and then you've got mission number 21 which is the bubble of Mamanks. the push the end you can see this is the very edge of the map i do like the effort you can see the invasion from norway also see the participation of the finnish uh, troops also at kalanda maska also pushing right here as well. You also see which number, I think number 22, which is the Battle of Caucasus, yeah. And which the Germany, the German Reich sees all the oil. You can see all the oil. I also love the fact that uh, Rogozovsky is on a super heavy tank. The, the prototype of KV-6 actually good. It's not that bad. We also got number 23, uh, which is the op Battle of Siberia. Uh, the very end, push to the end. There's no Japanese, only the so only, only the Germans. This is where you push after uh, Leningrad. Yeah, yeah. Nishni, Novgorod, Gazan, Zmara, Yekaterinburg, Perm. You also got Omans, uh, Skitkhwa, and Sakelakara. Hope I pronounced that right. 24, which is the Battle of the Middle East. I think attack on Iran or Iraq to seize the oil. Absolutely. So you push. Uh, after uh, Egypt, the Suez Canal, you push to Jerusalem. You also push from the north as well at Tibis. Also need to attack 
Turkey as well for being neutral. It's gonna be great. Iran also part of us because they are the Aryan race. Because the Soviets and the British they seize the oil reserve, which makes them um, enemies now. 25 if Operation Sea Lion. It's pretty good. Also got the Americans at Plymouth for Battle of D Day. They are preparing for that Operation Overlords. And you got number 26, which is. Where is it? Where is 26? I think 26 is around here somewhere. Wait, there's no 26. Only 28. Oh yeah, 26 is invasion of Brazil. Okay, so they kind of linked up. The Argentine also help us as well. The American also send reinforcement. Mm -hmm. And you got the 27, which is Battle of South America. Not that bad. You can see the Japanese also landed almost at the coast of Chile. And Germany is finally taken and pushed to the Central America. And then you got number 28, which is the Battle of Nova Scotia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is me. This is me, actually. I, I think Hoi 4, if you guys know Hoi 4, you guys know Nova Scotia. I think I kind of did some uh, live gameplay and managed to defend. Which actually turns out great, by the way. I had max planning, I had some good intel and good resource. And also managed to push up the American. Really good. Was such a nice game back then. You also see number uh, 29, which is the Invasion of America. I like that. Yeah, you can see the White House on fire, and you can see all the whole of America. Houston, Dallas, Oklahoma, Jackson, Montgomery, Atlanta, Raleigh, Milwaukee, Chicago, Desmondis, Memphis, New York, Washington, Boston, Augusta, Ottawa, Montreal, Thunder Bay, Winnipeg, and Regina. And you align it at Halifax. And you're gonna push also the south here at Miami. Actually, it's great. Not that bad. And you've got number 30. Which is the Battle of Africa. Meaning you have to push south and push until South America. Because everything is your... Unless you have to fight against the Japanese. And this one is the final straw. Where you attack from here. So I guess this is actually good. We're gonna see more. Uh, this is the... Uh, Battle of Madagascar. So I think after that you're gonna see... Battle of... Mongolia push to the south, uh, liberation of South and North Korea or something, or maybe the involvement of the Japanese in this war or something because there's still more to that. You also can claim medals, the freedom medals. You guys want about that? Yeah, you can clean, and you can also see that the medals are mostly focused on tanks. Yeah. Artillery and a few infantry as such. Okay, so this is such a great mod review to me to be honest uh, I know that the Congress made his own version, which is actually great. I also respect uh, Rommel Fox was making this version as well uh, Quite light lighter than the Congress the Congress way more heavy and thick and way more headache But this one is less fun is easier, but it's actually both are great by the way again If you guys want a game link will be in descriptions there will be more to come for this mod review. I will see you guys next time.